I was not the person who actually stopped this video recording. Everything was very obvious. I never watched the Jim Acosta's report more than once. I only listened to this type of live conversation just once I got everything. Let me try to actually recapitulate what he just mentioned. Uh, Jim Acosta said that there was no indication clearly coming from the White House to acknowledge this type of defeat coming from the Supreme Court. However, there is no legal venue open to Donald Trump. No matter how hard they try to actually deny it, there will be a more pressure coming from all different corners to urge President Donald Trump to accept this election result. Because eventually the election college will gather together in the next week to finalize the election results to secure the Joe Biden's clear victory by packing up 270 delegates from the electoral college. This is a very obvious and uh, he, earlier this evening, had a meeting with uh, one of Donald Trump's advisors. But there are certain Fox who shared the similar sentiment with this person. Just like the rest of people in the group, he was very honest about the situation. Tell the truth that this person's gender was not revealed. This advisor was very clear about this failure. Because everyone inside the group who might actually make themselves known as a conscionable, scrupled officials in the White House. They knew that this would be coming, and they really believed this was a systematic challenge by Donald Trump with no proper justifiable cause. So eventually, Donald Trump is really the person who's been instigating anxiety in the system. They actually acknowledged the devastating, destructive behavior by President Donald Trump. He just really wants to acknowledge the problem caused by President Donald Trump. And they knew along the course of President Donald Trump's disturbance was the problem. Well, the President legal team you know, clearly suggested there is no indication about their concession. They are not going to back down from any of this materials. They were never going to acknowledge their unavoidable and inevitable consequence coming from the election results. And I was really upset because I was recording this and there was abrupt suspension with no reason. Again, I couldn't believe it. I only watched this once and I really detest this type of suspension because that would actually put me under suspicion of watching this live coverage more than once. I only actually hear this from Jim Acosta just once. That was really the it. I never actually gather information that might be shared by him from different sources. He said that there is no possible legal venue open to President Donald Trump, but his legal team is very adamant to signify their desire to bring this case further. Maybe they can actually rely on the court, people's core, where they could even actually bring this case to you know, Judge Judy, but the problem is Judge Judy officially retired many years ago. But there is no chance, you know, they would ever be hurt in the serious legal context. That's the real the problem. Privately, there are people who actually share the sentiment with the rest of American public. One advisor clearly had a very candid conversation with Jim Acosta, saying that President was really the person who's been inciting discomfort in the system. He's been actually putting the entire system in danger by causing a systematic test. So it's time for President Donald Trump to acknowledge this result, no matter how painful it might be. But that type of courageous behavior is not being shown. That's a really unfortunate issue. But eventually, it would be a matter of time. Because next week, Electoral College will have a final meeting to cast their ballot. But this vote will be very decisive to let the congressional members clearly Acknowledge who the winner is. So people are now looking to the GOP leaders. So whether they would accept this decision or not. However, President Donald Trump never even actually joins the sentiment. In the aftermath of this significant blow dealt by the Supreme Court of the United States. He's not actually making any move to recognize this failure. His legal team so far hasn't spent substantial amount of money by still plotting a scheme against the systematic justification 
in the establishment in the United States. That's the problem. He has been actually reckoning with another plot by funneling substantial amount of capital into this legal feud built upon a nothing but hawks. That's the problem. And in what Jim Acosta said, President Donald Trump literally had no chance to survive this. There is no way he could have ever upset the entire election results because no single case, even his refugee camp, Pennsylvania, there was no hearing that could have been held to give him a victory or even challenge the results of the election that's the real problem so even if you would have never really liked to accept this vote tally the consequential event would be obvious. There is no chance that he would say something that would be powerful enough to negate all the systematic justifications planted in the system to event the election results. That's a problem. No matter how many times you repeat the same lyrical line he wants to hold on to, this would be nothing but a vain list talking points. This would be nothing but a pointless and baseless talking points, which you would go nowhere. That's a really the public consensus was gaining momentum in the United States, according to the report by Jim Acosta. And the Supreme Court of the United States, even with the three different appointees nominated by him, never even wants to join this very sentiment driving Donald Trump's legal team forward. But his advisor actually had a moment of truth, realizing what type of harm this president has been causing. This is really a systematic challenge that's been shaking up the authority of the system by ne denying and uh, negating the a any value attached to convention and tradition some of them even admit, admitted this type of a destructive power exerted by Preston. And the Preston's legal team clearly issued a statement saying their willingness to continue with the process. And then right now, Amy Coney Barrett is really the person President Donald Trump is trying to rely on. This is the person placed by Donald Trump in the Supreme Court, just like the two different justices, Brad Kavanaugh and Neil Gorzor. However, the entire system is secure enough to reject this type of bogus foundation. Even President Donald Trump tries to play this party politics or identity politics, trying to divide the nation simply because of this tiffered quid pro quo type of forays. This is really kind of resumption of the formal forays used in the system before, immediately following from the Ukraine scandal and the Russian inquiry. However, the point here that would actually gain American public consensus is this. The system has been tested because of this type of destructive efforts to subvert the establishment. President Donald Trump came from nowhere. He was an outsider. He had a no systematic connections. He was never been a career politician. He never held a elected official post before this presidency. That's really the reason he had a no understanding about how the system works. That's really the reason he wants to Look to those selected Supreme Court justices picked out by him. But that's not how the United States politics works and the United States democracy works. He had a grave misunderstanding about the system and um, this type of ignorance and negligence, the systematic procedures 
comedian by President Donald Trump wasn't even acknowledged by his confidants. Those people surrounding him who are right now committing themselves to common sense. They clearly recognize the absurdity of his logic. So behind the scenes, there are certain courageous people who actually gather their thoughts to voice out this type of sentiment. There is a moment of a candor shared by President Donald Trump's inner circle. There are certain anonymous advisors you know, who really recognize this type of misjudgment. And uh, one of them was really interviewed by Jim Acosta. He actually met the person earlier this evening, and they knew that the actual end result is unwavering. It's firmly put down because of the American voters' ballots, and this will only be confirmed and uh, officially instated by the finalization of the Electoral College in the next week. That's really the it. There is no chance this would have experienced another significant change because of President Donald Trump's willpower. No, that's not the case. And I clearly state that I have never watched this message more than once. I have in between never played this video using my phone. No, you can clearly view what truly happened on my screen, I have never ex I have never been exposed to this report coming from White House right now, more than once, and it was very obvious. 